Hey guys, I'm going to talk about Tamagoyf. Uh, it's been a while since I talked about Tamagoyf and the reason I want to talk about him today is because his price has finally dropped below 150 retail. It is 147 and I'll have little diagrams to help me along. I'll you know, flash the page. Um, and it's $115 in eBay, buy it now. Um, or is it buy it now? I don't know, I saw a uh, a eBay auction for it and it seems very very good at that price I do want to talk a lot about why Tamagorf is going down in price and should you pick him up should you if you want him uh, Tamagorf is going down in price mainly because it is standard season uh, standard season being the fact that you have Jason 80 uh, people have in my opinion only a set amount of money they can spend on hobbies Magic the Gathering included and because the set amount of money right now is funneling via standard, it is very difficult for a modern card, for modern cards to really peak up in price at this particular time. A lot of people ask when is the best time to make a modern deck. I say wait a little bit. I think late November, late December is a good time to start picking up your Snapcast. And Tamagoyf is not in a vacuum. Snapcaster, Liliana, all these cards are going down in price now because people are playing modern less and people are playing standard or gearing up for you know whenever you have a new set come out in standard the people spending money on standard and that means they have less money to spend on modern cards which is the secondary market because they're spending money on packs and boxes and cases and whatever have you right anyway um tamagoyf is on a First time I've seen him under 150, and if the Tamagoyf that is for 115 on eBay is real, that's a very good price for Tamagoyf. Do I feel like he's going to fall a little bit more? Yes, I feel like he will fall. I think he could get up down to 125 by late December. I do feel like that's probably the. I can't see him under 100. Like that would be the next step, would be for him to fall under 100. But getting a place at Tamagorifs um, or trading for them if you can, very, very possible right now. I mean, this card used to be $200 on uh, very recently, over $200. And yeah, I mean, it is pretty crazy. I will have an image of, uh, if I can find it, I think there was a rip it or flip it and someone ripped a foil Tamagorif. So yeah, one less foil Tamagorif for everyone to <laughs> buy. I just wanted to let you guys know that modern time, like, you know, answer the question directly, when is the best time to buy a modern deck or modern staples soon? Uh, but if you want to play modern, always buy them now. Like, the way I look at Magic cards is utility-wise. So if you had Abzan from the very beginning, you did well because you were able to play that deck for many, many months and use it. Uh, that's even more true for modern because modern is a... a eternal format so if you have your tamagoyfs you can start playing with them today so is the extra $25 worth it to you to wait two months it might not be because maybe you have modern um, tournaments to go to maybe you have uh, friends who play modern it always factor in utility of the card because I would rather have a card I use every Friday for the next two months and lose it and have it lose $25 than wait and save $25 and not have it for those two months if I'm playing a lot of modern. And that's how I rationalize. It's very logical. Um, so to answer that question is how much modern do you expect to play uh, from here until December? I do feel like at end of December, uh, typically people sell more magic cards. Uh, they need to buy presents for non-magic players and non-magic players will give them non-magic presents and that's just how life goes i mean i've uh, my friends know i play magic they know i have this channel but i've never received a magic the gathering gift before because i get like other gifts of my other interests which are i guess they just don't want to go to a game store i don't know i don't know and yeah i have got figmas before um one of my Miku figmas, not Miku, I don't, I've never watched this show. This is a very limited, oops, dropped the gun. Um, very limited black rock shooter figure I got from a friend. Um, it is one of the hardest to find ones, I believe. It came up with a book. And 
I'm going to try to put it back in without like breaking it. So that is like the French will give me anime gifts, but they have never given me Magic the Gathering gifts. Um, so yeah, I think that's what happens is during Christmas time, Magic players have to make have some extra cash to buy non-Magic gifts to give to non-Magic playing friends. Non-Magic play, playing friends are not necessarily going to buy Magic gifts. And you might be like, oh, what about the gift box? Um, they're not like, I don't know. My friends have never given me a Magic the Gathering related gift before. I've never received one. I, I, maybe the Christmas exchange, which maybe I'll do this year with you guys. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.